We still do seven NUFC Matters show a week for free. But if you want to help support NUFC Matters, then there are a few ways of doing it. Hit the like button on each live broadcast and video. This helps the channel grow. Hit the subscribe button and select the all notifications bell so you don't miss a single show. If you want to help us financially, then you can join the channel using this button with the membership starting at $1.99 a month. Or you can drop us a donation in the chat using a super sticker. We're also looking for sponsors. If you'd like your brand advertised on the flies for the show and featured during the ad break, then email john at nufcmatters.com to arrange today. Good evening, welcome along to Rock and Rob uh, album review. How are you, Rob? Good to see you. Real, really well, Steve. You all right? Yes, very good, mate. Very good. What musical delight have you good. brought us today? Today is a recommendation. Um, Johnny, our vocalist in our band, um, suggested and mentioned to me REM. That's in there. Very flattering picture. Um, yeah, REM's Automatic for the People. This was October 1992. It's the band's eighth album. Six singles off this one, 18 million copies worldwide. So, yeah. Um, the cover, I've done a wee bit of digging into this now, what is it? But all it is, it's a star ornament that was part of the Sinbad Motel in Miami, where most of this album was recorded. So there you go. So it opens with Drive. Uh, it's, it's a good, simple nature opener. I think there's like gothic country chords on this. It's a good opening track, to be fair. I do like the echo on Michael Stipe's vocals. Really nice string arrangement on this one. Nice song, quite moody. I think you expect that with R.E.M. or I do. Track two is Try Not To Breathe. It's a nice sway atmosphere on this one. Uh, it's got a nice sort of country folk feel on this one. Quite a nice tempo. Simple song. I just wish I had a bit more bass on this song. It's nice enough, though. Nice brushwork on the snare. Track three, The Sidewinder Sleeps Tonight. Uh, it's a bit of an uh, all-over-the-place tone on this song. But it's Stipe's vocals are really good, really unhinged, but it's a like. It's a, a good, decent, fun song. It's all right. Track four, Everybody Hurts. This is my least favourite song on the album. Don't like it at all. Why? Um, I just, I, I don't know. It's, I don't know. I, I think sort of like the music I'm into, people say it's all doom and gloom and it's depressing. I get that from this song. Mm, but okay. yeah, but musically and the atmosphere of it, there's, there's not enough on it for me to get me sucked into it, but I appreciate why people like it and it's their favourite song. But I think it's more like R.E.M.'s Bridge Over Troubled Water. You know, that sort of thing. I think it's a bit too long. I like the outro though, and there's no pun intended on that, but the outro is pretty nice. Here we got track five. This is called New Orleans in New Orleans Instrumental Number no. 1. I don't know if they've done a number two. It's a pleasant enough song. Quite like the organ intro. Nice pedal steel part on this. It's a very relaxing sort of like zen atmospheric song. That's what I pick up on it. Track six is called Sweetness Follows. It's nice bow strings arrangement on this, giving it a nice sort of driving energy. Pretty simple song, decent enough track. You've got side two. It's Monty. Got a raw deal. I guess. And that again, another sort of like a folk song, acoustic guitar intro. Pleasant enough, sort of basic rock indie drumming, sort of standard indie drumming. Um, like the backing vocals in this song, though, I must admit, I mean, the REM backing vocals are pretty good. Even the early stuff they've done, I quite like that, how they've done it. It was really standout-ish. 
you got track eight, Ignore Land. It's a cowbell snare intro, sort of jazzy funk bass line, nice reverb on the lead guitar, which I like. Um, quite like this song. I think it's probably one of my favourite songs on this. Nice mid-tempo. It flows really well in the album as well. It all fits well together. This, this, the songs on this album do actually fit well. It's, it's not a tiring album. It's not like, you know, just chuck this in. It's, we've done this as a demo or a session song. Then you've got Star Me Kitten. It reminds me of 10 CCs. I'm not in love. I'm going to put it on. It just reminded me of it a wee bit. I don't know why. Nice enough song, but very dreamy, relaxing song again. You've got track 10. Now, most of my reviews I do, I usually say it's typ typically like the ending of an album. It's tired, it's worn, it's drawn out. And a lot of people don't listen to last songs because it's, you know. But this, out of all my reviews, this ends on a really, really good song called Man on the Moon. Uh, good bass intro, nice acoustic guitars, really good strong chords, uplifting chorus, sort of like a feel-good song. I did watch them in the 90s doing this um, festivals. A crowd were right up for it. It looked really good, um, the festivals. Uh, good refreshing song to end the album on, but I'm going to give this album a 6.5 out of 10. Um, I, I didn't get anything from it. There's bits and bobs that were nice, but... I, I think everybody had this album or owned it or knew somebody that did. But I'm, I'm glad to listen to it. It's okay in bits, but that, that, it's, it's just not for me. But um, I like that earlier stuff is like Harbour Coat's Pretty Persuasion of Reckoning and Murmur albums are early, sort of more post punky sort of sound, got a colder sound. So that was just my uh, my preference that I preferred their early stuff. So, And how's the, how the rehearsal going, mate? Because I, I see you've been back hard at it. Yeah, going really, really well. Um, Johnny's doing absolutely brilliant. It's just hitting the songs, confidence is growing. We're saying that last night, the second part of rehearsal last night, it's just sounding really a band feel, really good band feel on the same level, good communication, really good, really, really good. Really proud of him. He's doing really, really well. Okay, great stuff, mate. Uh, as always, thanks for joining us and uh, look forward to your album review next week, mate. Okay, safe. Take care now. Great stuff. Thanks for joining us, mate. Take care. Bye now. Bye now. A big thanks to all our sponsors. Skips and Bins, telephone 0800 2545 253. Email inquiries at skipsandbins.com. Website, skipsandbins.com. Easy contract free and pay-as-you-go waste collection. Thanks again to Mr. Vicky Sources. Handmade in Cumbria. If you'd like to order some, then give them a call on 01768 210102. Go to their website, mrvickies.co.uk, or drop them an email, info at mrvickies.co.uk. A big thanks to United Group Travel. They're a family firm based in Morpeth with pickups throughout the Northeast. No strangers on our tours, just people you haven't met yet. They've got a presence on Facebook. And a website, unitedgrouptravel.com. If you want to make a booking, give them a call on 01670 632 460 or mobiles 0791 666 4174 0795 71 41654. Thanks to Darren Baldwin Funerals, Independent Funeral Directors. Let us look after you in your time of need. They're based on Old Durham Road in Gateshead, and you can contact them at their website, darrenbaldwinfunerals.co.uk. Email darren at darrenbaldwinfunerals.co.uk or give them a call, 0191 478 2730. A big thanks to Media Arts for all the help with the technical side of things. And a big thanks to New Workwear. You can find them at newworkwear.com. If you want to help the channel, hit the thumb up to subscribe, hit the subscribe button and share to your other social media. You can also pay a one-off fee of £25 to get a scarf, a cup, a pen and a membership card. Go to the website nufcmatters.com and click membership or put your smartphone over this QR code. We also support the food bank on this channel. If you want to make some donations virtually, go to nufcfansfoodbank.co.uk and make a donation today. We're also a podcast on Spotify, iTunes and other podcast providers. Just search NUFC Matters. 
I'm also a part of the Northeast Footy Brecky Show. You can listen to that Monday to Friday, 7 or 9 at the tune UK.com.